Hey everybody, it's Melissa Sorrentino. I'm on my way to work today. And um, I wanted to share something from my divorce diary that actually happened yesterday. Um, I, I work a weird job and it's like a Vegas job. And um, I deal with people. And so anyway, these people, they were in line. They were the people to um, talk to. And uh, I always ask people like, are you here for a special occasion? Or, you know, is it your first time in Vegas? You know, a little like intro-y, you know, get to know you kind of questions. And um, so just like right out of the blue is a beautiful, good looking couple, very attractive uh, woman and a, like a really kind of a hot, kind of like badass looking dude. You know, he's real tall. He's kind of, he's kind of like, looks very grouchy, but like kind of like with that badass, you know, resting badass face. <laughs> um, so anyway. So I said something like, are we celebrating an occasion today? And she says to me, just like flat out, like it was a little awkward and stumbly, but I don't know what happened. This happens to me a lot in my life, but you know, it was almost like, like even against her own will, she just kind of blurts out. She's like, well, we're actually here. We're actually here working on our marriage, trying to make our marriage better. And I was like, um, we're not in like a counselor's office, but the weird, crazy irony is I have just been working like my previous job before this one, which has absolutely nothing to do with that, was, um, you know, at a therapist's office and the primarily it was marriage counseling. So I was the receptionist and, um, uh, in addition to like admin stuff that I was doing, you know, office work. But, um, so I would be often the person that people would greet and that would be like the first thing. So the odd thing is I completely knew how to deal with it. And honestly, if anyone else had been, you know, kind of up to bat at the moment that I, um, approach them, if it had been somebody else, they may have been just like, ah, uh, what? But I was just like, oh, okay. You know, so I kind of like went into my other mode and, um, and as it turned out, you know, through spending time with them, I just was able to offer like words of encouragement, you know, just of like that, you know, they're not alone and that every marriage struggles and that I was married for a very long time. And, um, you know, everyone we look at, we're all like all about appearances, um, but, you know, very likely any couple you ever glance at is going through, you know, shite. So, um, I just wanted to share that. I wanted to share that with you guys. This gorgeous couple, it's very, they look like they had plenty of money and they're just, you know, they're in Vegas and they're like spending money and, you know, looking good and on a trip. And sure enough, the, you know, modus operandi behind it is to try to improve their marriage. And, um, you know, whether you're in a married situation and you're struggling and you're trying to improve that, or, you know, even if you're not struggling, one of the preventative ways to sort of improve it is, of course, to take trips and stuff together. But, you know, my recommend for men and women or, you know, who, whoever you are, wherever you're at in your, you know, coupleship, whether you're married yet or not, but, um, you know, if you lose touch with doing little things like trips together, um, it's, it's really hard to... Um, recreate that after a certain point in time, you do actually eventually drift like just straight up apart. And sadly, I felt that that's what was going on with this couple because of the point being that she's already to a point where she's blurting it out right and left to everybody. You know, she's scrambling. She wants to save this marriage and he just already looked like he was gone. I mean, they barely talked. Um, and I was with them for about, you know, almost 15 minutes. Um, so anyway, I guess I don't know what the takeaway from it is other than just that no matter where you're at, if you're struggling with a relationship like I was for so many years, it's very easy to look around and think that the grass is always greener, but you know what? It's not. We are all very, very busy with our, um, pardon the pun, lawn maintenance. Okay. Take care, you guys. Bye.